I would like to introduce you to our version 3 kit. This is the kit that has been shipping for the last 2-3 months. Um, it features our KC750 new condenser, our new compressor bracket, and our new HVAC evaporator. We also have our cabinet evaporator as well, and our new cellular thermostat. This is what comes standard in one of our kits. There's 18 feet of hosing. This is all Goodyear R134 Galaxy hose. There's 18 feet of eight millimeter, 18 feet of 13 millimeter, and 16 feet of 10 millimeter hose. This is our new condenser. It's the KC750 with its in and out ports on the side. These are the standard brackets that come for the KC750. They bolt in place right over here. The bolts required to bolt on these brackets. The KC750 condenser comes with dual fans. It is a tube and fin condenser, so that means it can be laid completely horizontal or vertical, so long as the import is higher than the output. It does feature a rock guard. And it's completely durable, powder coated steel. A great feature of our new condenser is that we have a set of hushed fans available for this condenser. They lower the overall noise output by 6 dB. And not only do you get a lower noise output, but you also remove that high pitched noise that's typically associated with electric fans, such as these. This hushed upgrade is available as a one time charge uh, at the time of checkout. Or if you already have one of our condensers, please contact us and we are able to upgrade these down the road as well. Our version three kit features our LTE thermostat. This LTE thermostat includes the first year of service, allowing you to communicate with the thermostat via the Verizon network anywhere in the US. It is entirely up to you if you choose to proceed with the service down the road or not, it will not hinder the operation of the thermostat. It will just limit you from communicating with it wirelessly. Each kit comes with a set of fittings. These are uh, BurgerFlex fittings. And the BurgerFlex fittings are gray because they feature a cinch connector. Cinch connectors look like this. They're exactly the same thing as certain PEC style connectors. So if you've ever done plumbing in your home and you've used this sort of connector, it is exactly the same. You can actually use the exact same tool for it. Each kit comes with a drain kit for the evaporator. Now this drain kit looks slightly different for the HVAC evaporator than it does for the cabinet evaporator. Each kit comes with a set of fittings for the compressor. They install in place of the sealed connectors. These are strictly for shipping. Please be very careful when tightening the, these screws so you do not over torque them. Our new compressor assembly has some, got some great features. This is the version three compressor assembly. The version three compressor assembly is slightly taller as you can see, and it has slotted holes for mounting. The slotted holes line up perfectly with a half inch carriage bolt. So you may install the carriage bolt and mount it directly to the frame. The compressor assembly features a fully sealed Eaton Relay Center, a self-resetting Busman high amp, 150 amp circuit breaker. All you really need to do to connect to this entire assembly outside of your refrigerant lines is apply power ground right here, positive right here from your battery. This white connector goes to your thermostat. The wiring here corresponds to the wiring on the back of the thermostat. This single wire connector runs to the condenser. This provides power to the condenser. The ground on the condenser is fed from your chassis ground. And then this larger loom features a three wire connector and this feeds power to your evaporator. Our version three kits have 18 feet wiring to the evaporator. 18 feet wiring to the thermostat and 10 feet wiring to the condenser.
This is our newest HVAC evaporator. It features four two and a half inch ports, a SPAL brushless blower, two drain lines, one on each side. It mounts using these brackets. And then another cool feature is this evaporator is heat capable, meaning it has two 5 8 inch ports that allow you to run coolant, water, or any sort of hydronic heating, whether it's from an SPAR or a Webasto hydronic heater, whether it's gasoline or diesel, or you can feed these directly from your engine. And anytime your engine is running, you will have a heat capable evaporator to heat your van or RV. We've had a number of questions regarding clearance on both the condenser and the evaporators. On the condenser itself, the more clearance you provide a condenser, same goes with the evaporator, the less turbulence you're gonna receive and the less turbulence you're gonna receive, the quieter the system will be. Typically, we require at least two to three inches on the intake side of the uh, condenser. And then the same goes in front of the fan, another two or three inches. Now, in most applications, this side will be completely exposed to the ground, and then this side will be against the frame. So we typically encourage that you have at least two to three inches here. The more, the better. Um, if you can vertically mount this, that's great. Uh, that provides you an endless amount of clearance. The same sort of thing applies on this blower. It's a twin swirl blower. It draws in air from the right side, right side middle, left side middle, and left side. So ideally you'd want your cabinet to go around this. This sums up what's included in our kits. If you have any additional questions, concerns, or requirements, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at undermountac.com. These kits are in stock. We typically require two to three days to build them. Primarily we're building the compressor brackets and we're installing whatever the fan of your choice. And then within five to six days, you should receive it at your door via UPS standard.